Right, hello YouTubers. Uh, another van video today. Um, my van's a bit poorly, um, so I thought I'd make a, a little video. Uh, so about six months ago, some of the heater functions on my um, heater blower stopped working. Um, so there's four settings in total, but one, two and three stopped working, but four did work for some reason. Um, so it obviously wasn't the fuse. Uh, so before I took it to an auto electrician, uh, I decided to do my own research and apparently it's a common problem on the VWs um, especially the transporters that a um, uh, resistor goes faulty on them um, and allows number four to work don't know quite know how that works for some reason but I thought it was worth fitting a new one so I got one off eBay for six quid delivered um, cheap as chips um, basically this is what it looks like Okay, so it was worth having a bash and, and trying to fit that myself before I take it to anybody else. Um, it is buried under a load of plastic panels in the passenger footwell, which means taking off about a million screws. So hopefully we can do this with some basic tools, um, a really thin screwdriver or some... Uh, um, trim tools if you've got them they'll be better uh, and some torques uh, some torque some torque bits um, yeah so I'm gonna wing it a little bit and we'll see how we get on so if you want to join me then come along so here we are at the business end right first of all we need to get um, these panels off and uh, it's gonna be buried under these so we need to get that off this off and that off and there uh, we'll see how we get on okay we also need to get this um, fuse box off underneath the dashboard so flathead screwdriver just undo that put that to one side we've got all these torque bolts in here you see them one there, one there, one there, and one there. Using your trim tool as well, this needs to come off. Nice and gentle, and there you can see another screw hiding behind there. On this panel, just pop it out. Pop. Um, but behind there, there is some wiring. Okay, for your airbag. So you're not going to be able to pull it from there, but just have it there loosely. Um, it might be different on the T5. Mine's actually a T5.1. Um, so yeah, just have it there loosely. Okay then, down the bottom of the footwell, we've got this panel. Okay, it looks like we've got three torques holding it on. Okay, just get that removed. Right then, remember I did say I am winging this a little bit. So, got one screw here. One screw underneath here. One here. And the one at the top. I've already sort of pre-loosened them um, just to speed things up. So we'll take them off and then uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, I can't see any more screws, so hopefully with a bit of luck, this is it. Don't just yank things off, or you're going to 
break things, so just take your time. Hey presto. Okay, so that's the cover off, and here is the resistor. Got one bolt there and one there. Just take them off. Right then. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you've got like two, one there and one there. You need to sort of squeeze them together, and that should, in general, not to snap anything. It should just pull out. There we go. So you pinch that and that. Pull them out, move to the side, and then these two bolts okay it looks like they are a five mil now I don't have a five mil socket a six is the lowest that I've got um, you should get away with just using a six because these are only screwed into plastic so they're not likely to be seized in or anything like that so no I'm not getting away with it, so I need a plan B. Hmm. So, I've searched my toolbox, gone through everything in my garage, and I cannot, for the life of me, find anything that's 5 mil. Not a spanner, not a socket. Can't even find my little adjustable spanner. So, I'm having to think outside the box. So, what I've got in my toolkit is this little badger. I've managed to get that onto the end of the bolt head and just loosen it enough um, without damaging it. <sighs> Damn you, Volkswagen. Right, after a lot of swearing, she's finally out. Bit rusty, and she doesn't look very healthy. Right, so let's get this new one in, and uh, fingers crossed. She's definitely the same. Why they insist on making that a bolt head rather than a a torque set like the rest of the dashboard is beyond me. Anybody from Volkswagen watching this, you need to use something else.
the moment of truth. That's working. Number one, two, three, four. Yes! Right, so that's working. Um, it's a good idea or good practice to make sure it's working before you put everything back. Um, so to that end, I'm gonna crack on and put all my bits back together i'm not going to film it because it's time consuming um yeah take your time and just put everything back in reverse order uh, making sure that when you do it don't fully tighten the screws until you've got all the screws for that particular panel back in place um, and then you'll find it a little bit easier so let's crack on well that's it all done um really happy with that good results um for six quid off ebay you know the heat is now working and that'll be good to go um on my road trip at the end of the week um uh, one thing i am annoyed about though is my airbag light has come on um not too much of an issue for me because i do know somebody that's got a um uh, a diagnostic tool that can turn it off but something to bear in mind if you're tackling this yourself um the side panel that um, you initially need to take off. There's an airbag switch on there that you can turn on or off. If you have got one of them and you do disconnect it, just bear in mind that's gonna put your airbag light on. So make sure you've got some um, some way or somebody you know that can turn that off for you. Um, failing that, take the panel off, but leave the sensor connected and just leave it dangling there on the wire and, and you know just be a little bit careful not to damage it. Um, other than that, make sure you've got the five mil socket to take off the actual resistor. Um, yeah, I hope you took something away from that. It's an easy job that, you know, the average Joe can tackle. Um, please come back and see me again. Like uh, the content and consider subscribing um, just to help the channel out. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.